Hello everyone. Thank you for viewing my presentation, Making and Decorating Vegan Cakes. I'm Denise Kerbin. I've been making and decorating cakes for as long as I can remember. However, I started making vegan cakes about 10 years ago when my husband became vegan. I also have a son that's been vegan for about 10 years. First, I'd like to point out the correct pronunciation of vegan. It has a long E. It's pronounced vegan, not vegan. I am a home baker and a pharmacist. No one is paying me to promote their products for this presentation. I'm going to be talking about baking vegan cakes, but I'd also like to talk about vegan baking in general, since most of you, I'm sure, do both types of baking. Vegan cake and baking outline. Introduction, vegan symbols and reading packages, ingredients to avoid, egg substitutes and aquafaba, sweeteners, nuts, baking ingredient substitutions, flavorings, chocolate and ganache, colors, commercial vegan products for cake decorating, decorating ideas, edible flowers and fruits, books with great vegan recipes, quick tips, sources of dietary protein, stores that carry a good selection of vegan products. This is my dog, Max. He looks really cute when wearing glasses, and so will you. Don't forget to bring your glasses when you go shopping. You're going to be reading some very small text. When you go shopping for vegan products, look for any one of these vegan symbols. They all mean the same thing. However, the vegetarian symbol is quite similar. If you see the word vegan, then you're sure to be picking up the correct item. Manufacturers must list ingredients that people are commonly allergic to at the very bottom. Let's compare two boxes of cookies. The ginger cookies on the right contain milk, egg, and soy. There is no need to read the entire list for the vegan cookies on the right. Just focus on the bottom. There is nothing we are trying to avoid. These are the ingredients to avoid. Eggs, egg whites, and albumin, honey and beeswax, strict vegans do not eat honey, gelatin, casein, cheese, lactose, and whey, shellac. Mono and diglycerides often come from a non-vegan source. Many vegans are very strict. Ask your client if they consume products that have the words may contain or not. Artificial colors, yellow number five, six, and tartrazine, blue number one and two, indigo carmine, fast green number three, red number one, two, 40, and citrus red. I most often purchase honey-free gram wafer crumbs from a bulk food store, but there's also a company called Knick Knick that make honey-free gram wafers and they're based out of Edmonton, which is where I'm originally from. Now I'm going to talk about whole egg and egg white substitutes. In baking, eggs are used as a rising agent. They bind and leaven and add moisture. Ground flax, ground chia seeds, or psyllium husk work great in cake recipes. As a bonus, they add protein and fiber. I've tried commercial egg replacers such as Energy, Bob's Red Mill, and Vegan Egg. These did not work well in cake mixes. The top of cupcakes may be sticky and tend to collapse under the weight of icing. However, if you're making a recipe from scratch to replace one egg, you can use one tablespoon ground flax, chia, or psyllium, plus three tablespoons water. Let sit for a few minutes before using. For one egg, you can use one tablespoon arrowroot or guar gum, plus one tablespoon water. For one egg white, you can use one teaspoonful baking soda plus one tablespoon vinegar or lemon juice plus one tablespoon of water. Each of these work well depending on what you are making. Sometimes a mixture of flax or chia with aquafaba work even better. I'll talk a little bit about that later. Here are some additional whole egg substitutes. 
one quarter cup applesauce, banana, pumpkin, or sweet potato. They can be used to replace fat or eggs in a recipe, but not both at the same time. One quarter cup non-dairy yogurt or vegan mayonnaise. One quarter cup silken tofu. On the left is the image of a package from the US and the Canadian version is on the right. Aquafaba is my husband's favorite egg white substitute. It comes from the drained liquid from a can of chickpeas. It is used to bind ingredients or it may be whipped like egg whites. For aquafaba to work, collect the liquid in a pot and boil for several minutes to make it thick. Then it may be stored in the fridge for one week or in the freezer. It can be used like eggs for a meringue or macarons and it really works. Use two tablespoons for one egg white or three tablespoons to replace one whole egg. For vegan meringue, use aquafaba plus cream of tartar, white sugar, and vanilla. Also check out the website lovinitvegan.com. Sometimes the recipe will call for egg yolks only. Here's a recipe I found on the Yummy Smells website that makes vegan egg yolk. I've tried using this in pies, but I doubt that it would work for lemon curd since it will be a little bit too floury. But basically it uses two kinds of flour, canola oil, water, and food coloring or turmeric. Sweeteners. Cane sugar may not be vegan since it may have been filtered, processed, and bleached with animal bones, also known as bone char. Refined sugar from beets is vegan. Look for certified vegan, natural, raw, and unrefined sugar. I once had a recipe that called for evaporated cane juice. It's not a juice, it's granular. Dates can also help nuts and seeds stick together. Coconut sugar works well in cakes. Other sweeteners such as brown rice syrup, maple syrup, or agave nectar can be used to replace honey. Nuts are commonly used in vegan baking. Purchase unsalted raw cashews, almonds, or macadamia nuts, which can be soaked and used in recipes for cheesecakes and sauces. Some people have nut allergies, such as to tree nuts. Peanuts are legumes, but some people avoid both tree nuts and peanuts due to fears about cross-contamination. Try sunflower or pumpkin seeds instead. A word about almond flour. It doesn't contain any gluten. However, it may be used to replace flour in a 1 to 2 ratio. Your recipe may require a more rising agent or less liquid, and you may need to make other adjustments as well. Almond flour doesn't work well in yeast baking. Let's move on to vegan baking ingredients. Applesauce can be used to replace butter in a one-to-one -one ratio. Mashed avocado can replace butter in chocolate recipes. Alternative milks work great, such as rice, soy, oat, and coconut. Avoid nut milks if you are baking for someone with nut allergies. You can use fruit juice for added color or flavor. Check fruit juice for added vitamin D. Vitamin D2 is always vegan. Vitamin D3 derived from lichen is vegan. Vitamin D3 derived from sheep's wool is not vegan. Examples of vegan cream cheese include Earth Island, Dea, and Tofuti. My advice when making vegan cheesecakes is to look for recipes that use a combination of cashews and vegan cream cheese. These seem to work the best. To replace whipped cream, you can use cocoa whip, coconut cream from canned coconut milk, silken tofu, or Nutri Whip. Are you still with me? Let's talk about more baking ingredients and substitutions. Sometimes in vegan recipes, they change up the flour. You might see ones that are also gluten-free, such as oat, millet, tapioca, or rice. Because you're changing up the flour, you may see other ingredients, such as potato starch, corn starch, gum trag, or CMC. For butter, which adds moisture, you can use a vegan butter or margarine such as Melt, Earth Balance, Basel, or a vegetable oil. Or you can make your own substitute, and I found a great one on veganbaking.net. As an extra tip, I've tried making a regular cookie recipe using Melt or Earth Balance, but I found that the cookies turn out too flat. 
So if you go to the website of the product you're using and follow a recipe there, it'll usually turn out better. Along the same line, vegetable oils can also be used to replace butter, such as sunflower oil or olive oil. Olive oil may add flavor to your recipes. Virgin coconut oil is best for coconut desserts. If you're going to be cooking at high temperatures, use refined coconut oil. Vegetable shortening can be used instead of coconut oil. To make buttermilk, you may add apple cider vinegar to soy or coconut milk. When buying glycerin, look for vegetable glycerin. Gelatin is not vegan. To replace it, you can use agar agar, pectin, vegetable gums, or xanthan gum, which comes from corn, guar gum, dried carrageenan, or locust bean gum from carob. Dandy's marshmallows are also vegan. You may want to add flavorings to your vegan recipes, such as extracts. Oil-based extracts are more concentrated than alcohol-based extracts, and they are made from the natural oils of a nut, seed, or plant. Depending on what you are making, fruits and vegetables can add color and flavor. Puree, juice, zest, slice, or leave them whole. Add pureed berries or passion fruit pulp into icing or cake batter in the last step. Add lime, lemon, or orange zest to cake batter or icing. Pears and apples can be sliced or cubed and added to the batter. Great vegetables such as zucchini or ginger. Ground dehydrated fruits and vegetables can also be used to decorate cakes. Here are some other ways to add flavor to your vegan recipes. Liquors or liqueurs. Check to see that they do not contain added dairy. You can soak fruit overnight in spiced bourbon, then strain before mixing into the batter. Coffee, espresso, and tea. Organic instant coffee are coffees made from grains such as barley, vanilla beans, or vanilla paste. Perfect palate or edible petals have some vegan options. This is one of my favorites, chocolate. Processed chocolate to be avoided contains milk, milk solids, and milk fat. Dark chocolate should contain at least 50% cocoa and should be milk, whey, and casein free. Cocoa butter is natural cocoa fat that is vegan. Brands of semi-sweet chocolate chips that are vegan include Enjoy Life, Trader Joe's, and President's Choice. Alternatives to chocolate include carob chips or powder. When shopping for raw cocoa powder, buy non-alkalinized, unsweetened, and dairy-free. You can also use raw cocoa nibs, but they may be bitter. White chocolate often contains cocoa fat, sugar, milk, or cream, and preservatives. I found a recipe to make your own on the website One Green Planet. You don't need dairy cream to make ganache. Use melted vegan chocolate with coconut milk or coconut cream plus vanilla extract. Adding colors. You can use juices or fruit purees and berries. Here are some vegan colors that you can purchase. Roxy and Rich, Color Garden, Chef Master Natural, and Watkins. Some people like to make their own fondant and you can make your own vegan version. Recipes commonly contain xanthan gum, gum trag, corn syrup, shortening, and cornstarch. You can replace glycerin with vegetable glycerin from coconut oil or palm oil. When I was at the ICES convention last year, Sugar and Crumbs made a powdered sugar that was vegan and had some nice flavors. And to replace gelatin, you can use agar agar. I've looked at many brands of store-bought fondants. None of the colored ones are vegan. However, the white might be vegan. If they have flavoring or mono and diglycerides, see that they come from a plant-based source. Check for the vegan product symbol. That's a good way to tell they're vegan for sure. With commercial products, sometimes the recipes change. If in doubt, you may need to contact the company. Similarly to fondant, 
you can purchase gum paste and modeling paste that are vegan. I also recently learned of a vegan cake mix. If you're okay with may contain, try Saraceno modeling paste. Bright white flower paste by Cakecraft is also vegan. Antique white platinum paste is vegan. The vegan cake mix is by Puratos. I found it on McCall's.ca or Puratos.com. When I was looking into wafer paper, I noticed white in all the brands were vegan. There is a brand from France called Scrap Cooking. All of the colors have E numbers and you can look them up to see whether or not they are vegan. However, this brand may contain eggs or milk. I also went to an import store and found a brand that sold like candy and it has a vegan symbol right on the package. Here are some other great decorating ideas. Sparkling sugar, maple flakes, India tree or let's do organic sprinkles, Watkins sprinkles. More vegan baking and decorating ideas. For pie crusts, use Cap'n Crunch cereal, corn flakes, or honey-free graham wafer crumbs. Oreos or other vegan cookies can be used to decorate the top and sides of cakes. Turkish Delight is vegan. Skittles without shellac are vegan and made without gelatin. Sweet potato buttercream or white soybean paste can be used for buttercream flowers. For isomalt, use natural colors or color your own. You can make vegan ice cream cake. Did you know Christmas cake or fruit cake can also be made vegan? Also, you can make your own vegan sweetened condensed milk. Decorating with real flowers. Not all flowers are edible. Use ones that have been harvested to be eaten and are organic or homegrown. Avoid those with fungicides and insecticides and found on roadside pathways. Be careful since people might have pollen allergies. Only eat the petals of the flowers or take them off the cake before serving. To make crystallized flowers, paint the petals with gum arabic dissolved in alcohol and left to set overnight. Then paint the flowers and sprinkle gently with sugar. Fresh Origins makes crystals and edible flowers. Go to gourmetsweetbotanicals.com. Ideas for edible flowers. Fresh flowers can be suspended in melted clear mints, such as glacier mints, then left to harden. Flowers may be pressed. Air dry flowers using a dehydrator, which then can be used in chocolate bark. Check out the images on Pinterest. Flowers look great on cookies, macarons, cupcakes, or donuts. Some leaves can also be used for decorating. Here are my three favorite vegan baking books. I chose these books because the recipes are easy to follow, the ingredients are easy to find, and the recipes turn out great. The first one is called Chloe's Vegan Desserts by Chloe Coscarelli. The second book I picked up at the Spokane Ices convention. There was a great bookstore nearby. It's called Clara's Cakes by Clara Polito. The third one is not a dedicated baking book, but there's some really good cake recipes inside. It's called The Vegan Holiday Cookbook by Isa Chandra Moskowitz. This is also a great book for cake decorators. Inside, there are recipes for vegan sugar paste, royal icing, ganache, fondant, marzipan. It's called Pure Artistry by Emily Lau Miller. This is a very unique book. It's called Let Them Eat Cake by Jacine Bullock Prado. The recipes inside have vegan, gluten-free, and healthier variations. Here's a few great websites to check out. Accidentally Vegan, veganbaking.net, and americancakedecorating.com. Look for the Bishop Fault Line Vegan Cake by Holly Jade, or in the October 2019 American Cake Decorating issue, there's a, an article entitled Delissima Chocolate for a Vegan, Gluten-Free, Nut-Free Cake. Paper or digital issues work fine, 
or on the ACD blog, Search for Vegan. Additional information. Check out vegan blogs, such as the Little Blog of Vegan. Look on packages to find websites for great vegan recipes, such as wholesomesweet.com. Check out vegan festivals in your area, such as VegFest. Enjoy the festival as a customer or become a vendor. If you like something vegan but don't have time to make anything, check out happycow.net for vegan restaurants in your area. Some people worry that vegans don't get enough protein. There is a good chart put out by the USDA called the best plant-based protein sources. When shopping for vegan products, check out specialty stores near you. I was in Texas in January and I found a great store called Irma's Nutrition Center, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's and online Grocery stores are starting to carry more and more options. This brings me to the conclusion of my presentation. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please email me at dcurvin at shaw.ca. Perhaps we can use your ideas for a future version of this presentation. Also, I'm the current Alberta, Canada ISIS ambassador. Here are the references I use for my presentation. Page one. References, page two.